All right, today we're going to go over closing wheels, what to look, fix some common problems on them. So as you can see, we've got a new assembly on here. We'll take that apart and show you stuff. But uh, look at initially a side-to-side -side play on these closing wheels. Most of the time, they are the bearings. This unit here, we bought this planter, had a lot of side-to-side -side play, and it wasn't the bearing. It was the actual closing wheel assembly, which we have here. This hole here was wallowed out pretty good, probably from a lot of acres. So you're getting play like that, that's no good. So between that being a problem and also the ears where it mounts, you can see how those are wallowed out. Here was no bushing from there, all that play in there. So between this and this, we elected to buy new arms. The company will fix the, they can redo these for you. And there's also products to weld in here and put a bearing in here, but since we had both problems, we elected probably cheaper, easier to buy new uh, closing wheel arm assemblies. So, what you do to get these things off, like I said, we got this one already set, but I'll show you. Take a three quarter socket, I got a quarter set pack here. You gotta loosen the tension spring in the back, and we'll do that. You don't have to take it all the way out, but most of the way out. Once you do that, your bolt up here, same size. You can lift this up pretty easy now. There's no tension on it. There's a lock nut inside here. Put your wrench on it. They got holes in it here and a hole in your bearing. They slide in there like that. And once you get the two holes lined up, you drive a roll pin in it. What I suggest, I cleaned all these studs up with emery cloth. Put anti-seize here, here, and on the roll pin itself. It's going to save you some trouble later if you ever got to change a bearing or tire. And we'll go over that in a bit. So that's how you put these back together. So we get down here. See the roll pin in there? Split the difference between the two. There's your spring and your real long bolt that's threaded. So now we're going to put this back together once we get the closing wheels changed over. Now these bolts, you got a flat washer on the outside. In inside, and then you're locked down on the inside. You go put these on. We locked it, elected for the eccentric bushings. They're 75 cents more. What they do for you, I'll show you. You get this snug, and you can turn this, and it'll adjust left or right to get your closing wheels over the furrow. Eyeball it. Once you get to left or right, go ahead and snug, tighten them all the way down, and you're done. So, put this back on. Again, I use anti-seize on everything and save yourself if you ever got to do future repairs. We'll get that started in there. Make sure you're up above it. Lift it up. Watch it. Clean up. I need to kind of hold up these wheels. Get it started. 
Grab the wrench again. I'll just snug it up. Make sure your bushing gets seated inside that arm. Um, now, before we tighten anything or adjust, if you come over here, I'll show you how you adjust these assistant bushings, how they work. So I got a cheapo three-quarter inch wrench because they got to be thin up here to get in here. So when you turn it, it moves it left to right, same way at this side. So when you eyeball, it helps when you got the, the Keaton's on it. I'm moving it to the right. Once you have that done, I'll go ahead and snug these all the way. that's done we gotta run this back in we're gonna set down pressure so the more you run this bolt in the more you stretch that spring the more pressure you get and I'll show you that I'm gonna be no tilling beans with this planter so I'm gonna crank her down quite a ways just so I get tension here and I'll show you what we got Your down pressure you can adjust that in or out some people got the newer T-handle styles. You can do that on the fly. This takes tools, obviously. We're going to go in the shop and go over the wheels and uh, how to take them apart. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to get these off here. Once you get that roll pin out, which this one's out, and we got the loose bad piece, but they can be a pain sometime. And you can crack these cow housings, uh, ruin the plastic. So I got this handy dandy tool. Shoop sells it for about 30 bucks. It's worth this money. You can make your own. Anyway, all this is a wedge. Sits down in there, you take a hammer and tap it. You give it a couple of wiggles, whatever, it'll come right out. Here. And, like I said, when you put new ones on, I always anti season them. That's going to make that tool a lot easier because they get rusty, crusty. They're hard to come out sometimes. They take a lot of beating. So, anyway, either invest in a tool like that or make your own. That's how you get the wheel off here after the roll pins drove out. So here's our uh, closing wheel assembly. What we're going to show you here is how you replace this bearing and tire, which is normally your cause. So these are the old cast ones. I don't think they sell them anymore. Now you're going to get a plastic one like that when you buy new. So these old ones take 3 8 uh, driver, 10 millimeter. And I suggest getting a, a magnetic nut driver like this. They're Harbor Freight. They're cheap. They work well. Stick them on there, buzz them off three on each side. It's actually weld nuts inside this cast. So when you go put it back together, sometimes the bolts break. So when you go put it back together, put anti-seas on them too. It'll save you some time. Now these newer style, 10 millimeter bolt head here, and they got nuts on the back. So that way you don't bust them off. There's, sometimes you got to put a wrench or a socket on this side. Some of them are embedded in there. These, there are different styles of these. So when you take that apart, there's one side of the cast tub, there's your threaded parts and the opposite on this side. So once you take it apart, here's what the bearing looks like. This piece is no good, but anyway, your bearing will sit in there like that. Your tire, it's what they look like, they get that ridge in there, fits in this ridge here. Now this is an older one, so it's going to line up good for me. New ones you gotta stretch them out. Some people set them in the sun all day. Some people put them in uh, hot water on the stove. Where you decide to do the new ones are a pain. I'll give you that. But that one's gonna fit in there good. Stick this cap on here. That's how those work. Now, that being said, there's a million different styles of closing wheels you can buy aftermarket. Uh, this here's the Copperhead, the new craze. I'm gonna try experiment on my uh, corn planter with some of these rubber wheels with or without chains, but you can get Martins, Yetters, Dons, whatever. Something I was gonna tell you about these copper heads. They fit on the plastic ones, the old aluminum ones, they do not fit. They don't flex enough to get them on there and they're off just a little bit. 
you can only run the copperheads on those. So keep that in mind if you're going to upgrade, you might you, you might have to buy these also. So that's all there is to it. You put that together. Put this on here if you got to change the bearing or the tire, e either or you got to take these apart. Push your bolts back in. You're done. Again, anti seize on here. Get your friend. Uh, drive that pin back on there and also buy yourself a set of good roll pin punches. They're worth their weight in gold and you got the right tools. Save you a lot of frustration. That's all there is to that. Show you how to put on a planner. Thanks for watching.